you know, insurance during our time was not taught, taught in universities and colleges. I, but I think uh, there are maybe two now who offer insurance courses. So try to look at the opportunities of uh, for the for the college students try to look at a career because uh, there are not so many people who would enter into the insurance business especially in the in the underwriting the backroom support the admin the claims there are so there there are so many fields that uh, an individual can choose when uh, he, he finally decides to enter the insurance industry. One can be into claims, to sales, to marketing, to underwriting, to administration. It's not uh, only for the pay, but also for uh, look beyond the, your job, uh, the social relevance of, uh, of uh, like for example, social relevance of insurance. If there was no insurance, uh, people would not be able to get back to their feet after a disaster or a calamity. So, thank God, insurance was invented. <laughs> so, you know, and of course, uh, there, there, there is also this advocacy wherein we want to make insurance. Uh, we want to uh, promote an awareness campaign because as you know uh, even you you guys you're very young uh, when i ask you if you are insured you will probably answer me no because insurance will always be at the bottom of your list of priorities you would rather buy the latest gadgets rather than buying your fire insurance if something happens to your house anytime is your house insured even if you don't own the house you still have your own personal belongings right you have your gadgets your laptops your cell phones your blouses your pants your skirts your underwears your utensils your kitchen utensils your belt shoes sum them up if I give you 5,000, will you be able to, if something happens to your, if, if a fire uh, destroys your, your properties, your personal belongings, you know, will you be able to, re, you know, rebuild or to repurchase or you rebuild your, your cabinet, your closets? I don't think so. 5,000. So... Although in micro, we, we are one of the few companies who promote micro insurance. Micro insurance is insurance sold in sachets. Why do products? Why are products sold in sachets? So that many people will be able to afford it, right? Go to a grocery store or a supermarket. You buy a shampoo. Ano binibili nyo? yung bottle o yung sachet <coughs> sachet muna di ba but of course in the end kung susumain mo yan hindi na ako bibili ng sachet kasi kaya kong bumili ng malaki and it will be uh, in, in the, at the end of the day it will be more economical but for practical reasons I will buy sachet it's better not having nothing at all so ganun din ang micro insurance binibenta namin to into sachets para more people will be able to afford it we we ha we have a fire insurance policy worth five thousand only. Then you will you might wonder five thousand late naman on, but at least no when something happens you will have you will not end up with nothing at all. Well, meron kang at least five thousand. Bakano lang ang premium ng five thousand? Siguro fifty pesos. So th these are the new. Uh, updates in the insurance business in the insurance industry insurance is no longer for the rich insurance is for everybody we have paid a lot of claims 
uh, caused by uh, for disasters and calamities caused by typhoon and flood. The insurance industry was, to tell you, to tell you frankly, it was hit. It was hit hardly because of the claims that we paid. But at least, diba, people were compensated, and you know, the insurance industry was able to help the economy go back to its feet after a disaster. So it's worth uh, looking into insurance as a career, whether you're into sales or to into underwriting or admin or to the back office. There are uh, a lot of uh, uh, recent uh, developments, especially in the advent of uh, infor information technology. In fact, yesterday I was talking to your uh, executives about uh, selling our products online. So later you will be hearing about that product. We are living in a country that is uh, prone to calamities. I think we were considered as one of the most, uh, the high, mo, uh, the high, uh, with the highest uh, incidence of uh, natural calamities. So then, we really have to have at least a some form of protection, which is being offered in non-life insurance like fire insurance, uh, accident insurance, this uh, emergency emergency insurance, we, which we are offering now, the, our latest product, which we call the WGC Prepared Card. It uh, helps people recover from uh, the devastations or the incidents of uh, personal emergencies like accidents whether in the road on the road or at home or at work illnesses you know, we are prone to a lot of uh, exposed to a lot of uh, diseases so this product covers only emergency room at least for the emergency because we are not an HMO the HMOs the health maintenance organizations the health cards take care of those hospitalization, consultations, confinement. We don't do that. We don't uh, offer that. We only offer the emergency. For emergency purposes. For, for emergency cases only. And it's only 750 pesos you're covered for. 20,000 for emergency cases in emergency rooms of accredited hospitals. Plus, you also get 120,000 for accident insurance. Then, we also give 5,000 for uh, fire assistance in case something happens to your uh, fire uh, nasunog yung bahay mo yung gamit mo we give you 5,000 uh, 5,000 also for earthquake damage that basically is the major reason why we should and uh, it's also it's, al it's also a form of uh, forced savings no? 